What's up guys? Another video, another day. It's currently 10.41 in the morning and I've gotten a package in the mail as you can see by the title I have and uh, I mean there's not really much for me to say here so I'm just gonna start opening it. So the reason I bought this is because I mean obviously I wanted to have an iconic album in my arsenal of albums. Um, so, I thought, what better iconic death metal album than the, the man, the myth, the legends. And then I don't know why they did this with all the fucking glue here, honestly. Should just use tape. Um, takes a little time. Lactose Get this open. Oh, yeah. But um, the, the way I actually bought this was an accident because when I was checking out, I was like, okay, so uh, I want to check the price before I actually go and order this, you know? And uh, I, I thought to myself, hmm. Um. I see that there's an option that says, uh, like, paying after the delivery. So I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, I, uh, I wanted to check uh, what the final price with the shipping would be for that. But little did I know that the final price with shipping was already there on screen. But my dumbass thought that the button that said confirm payment would show me how much it cost but I ended up ordering it and I have to pay for this in August which is fine for me because I can easily earn the money now I'm going to judge this based on first impressions of how it lasted for the shipping how it sounds like I'll get some first impressions of the sound yeah and uh, yeah let's see and of course, the looks are important as well. So let's see. Thank you for. Okay, that's no, no, no secret information on the back. Just. Uh... Oh, so basically, if I pay another fee for something that costs thirty-five dollars uh, before September, twenty twenty-one, I basically get. Free shipping, but this is funny because <laughs> the the code is Genki desu, <laughs> Genki desu, <laughs> Genki desu ka. That's funny. They are Japanese at this fucking place. Fucking Japanese codes and shit. That's funny. Um. And apparently they have snacks and candy at a fucking store where they sell records. Um, but yes, without further ado, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I've struck gold. Holy ball sacks. Look at that. I mean, while you're looking at that, I'm going to look at the backside. And oh, Lord, that looks really good. We're, we're in for gold here. That is a really well made fucking print. Get that fucking hip off there. Oh my god, that's a that's a print worth dying for. Jesus Christ. Also, why is why is Pete Sandoval playing on tire rims for like for like uh, tuner cars? I don't know, but he sounds pretty amazing regardless. Uh, and also the, the iconic Trey guitar, I mean, come on, this entire fucking lineup is just the best, am I right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not so confident in the knowing much about anyone else than these three. I mainly know about these, mainly these two, because Honestly, these two are the members I care about in Morbid Angel. <laughs> the vocals are amazing. Like, if it wasn't him or the other guy that was on um, Formulas, 
the, they wouldn't they wouldn't have it wouldn't be the same. Formulas at least still had a vocalist that sounded pretty much similar. It's almost the same, honestly. But you you're gonna be like, oh, if you're like a poster, you're gonna be like, oh, but everyone in metal sounds the same because it's like death metal. No, that's not how it works. Everyone has different kind of tones. For example, I sound more like. <gasps> Meanwhile, someone else would sound more like, you know. I sound more like Cannibal Corpse uh, with Corpse Grinder, but someone else is gonna sound more like Cannibal Corpse with the other guy that I don't really care about it that much. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to speak facts. And oh my God! Without the plastic wrap, look at that. Even cooler. That is honestly the coolest thing I have ever seen on a vinyl. And that says a lot about my violin collection because I have a lot of cool stuff already. So this is, uh, this is my best purchase ever. I mean, my heart is literally racing and beating like 500 beats per minute right now. That is awesome. I. Oh yes! Thank you, Morbid Angel! Thank you for doing one of these! Oh, I fucking hate when people don't do one of these! They actually did this kind of vein instead of the shitty fucking one ply. Oh yes, and you also have a fucking amazing and very beautiful picture of the band here. I'm gonna make sure we don't accidentally lose a vinyl here. And there you see it, there you go, there's the band. You can obviously see everyone clearly. Um, I mean, it's obvious that, well, I'm, not that you could judge by the back, but I think, I think this guy is the one you want to really watch out for, you know? If you ever walk down the street, if you see that guy, you definitely want to get like an autograph or something at least. <laughs> Just saying, uh, but um, how do we unbox this vinyl? Because wait, hold on. There is something else. There's some case candy. Oh yeah. There are lyrics. We have, we have lyrics. We have immortal rights. You know, gathered for a sacred right. Some conscious minds allied. Call upon the mortals. Call upon the oldest one to intercede. Also, they decided to print this on like the worst fucking background color ever, which I love with metal bands. Because metal bands and unreadable lyrics are pretty much hand in hand. And also, I mean, that backside is pretty fucking sick as well. That is honestly, you get, you literally get everything with this. You literally get everything with this fucking album. And a little more. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing in without getting the album out. That was very scary. At least I managed to save it in a way that didn't hurt anything. Okay, why do I have a fan right now going? It's gonna fuck this up. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's stop being a bunch of mahuli hoops and let's actually get the fucking vinyl. Because, to be quite honest, that is a very snug fit. Jesus Christ, that barely fits in there. Is there like 15 kind of fucking vinyls in here? Is that why? The two vinyls. Cause God, that was very tight. That's almost concerning. Okay, so far the first impressions are we have earache records, and uh, I'm assuming it's just going to be that. Yeah, it's going to be earache records, and it's not centered on both sides, so that's awesome. 
So you have earache and so You have earache records, and you have earache records. It's like an old school style vinyl, you know? You just have the plain fucking text, no logo, fucking metal. This is definitely a really fucking metal uh, vinyl right here. Um, why is it so dusty? The only thing I really hate about vinyls is how easily they get dusty. They, they like love picking up every single dust particle in the room. And I have no idea how to properly clean this fucking thing because it's kind of hard to fucking find out. And this has already been played a couple times, you see. This was a 2017 reprint. So, what does that make? 1989 to 2017. This is whatever year that was, anniversary. Let's put it like that. Let me do some math here. That's 28 years at least, so the, that's uh, when that thing was happened. Oh shit, yeah, um, hold on. I'm gonna need putting this here a second, because I, currently there's an Ozzy Osbourne vinyl in uh, the way. I was listening, uh, last time I listened to a vinyl, I listened to Memoirs of a Madman. So, that's pretty sleek and awesome, also one of those fucking tight fits that, I mean, it's basically stuck in there, what the fuck? I need to get out this vinyl first, I can get out this fucking, you know what? Why was it so stuck? It's bent on the end. Jesus Christ, these vinyl like paper fucking folds are not very good. Honestly. Like I'm I wouldn't be surprised if vinyl fucking paper broke before the actual vinyl. The way these are designed. Oh, that's so fucking bad now. This is me off that they designed them like this. Because at Iron Maiden, they have like this black sleeve that is like not easy to break. Ow! Stop pinching my finger, I'm screwed Okay. Where is uh, the other That is a camera. Where is the other Also, why are you spinning? You're supposed to be still. Okay, here we go. We're going to... Do immortal rights. We're gonna start from the actual start. Uh, let me get my speaker. I know some people are gonna be really mad by the size of my speaker, but I ain't no fucking picky motherfucker. I just want the vinyl for the fucking artwork, dude. Like having the full artwork on a vinyl, I think Ola England said, said this too. It's just so much awesome. So much more awesome. Now let's clean no, yeah, this fucking asshole. And voila! Let's listen.
<laughs> and now my cat is coming. I'm gonna try something though, because it might be a little dirty on the top. Let's start on the second song this time. I don't know if it was actually dirty or if it was just me. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, the fucking front of this, that's like... Okay, this fucking album is loud! This is the loudest vinyl I own! Holy shit, Barbados, you might want to tone it down a little bit! Woo! Even my cat's here. old school. The audio is really punchy, like old school production. And very loud! Okay, I'm gonna cut it there. Thank you, Pete, for that epic drumming at the end, by the way. So, we're gonna stop. I usually have to do it like this when I turn off the speaker, because otherwise it's gonna be on forever. It's gonna, it, I know it's, it says power on, but for no reason, whenever I use a aux in, it does that thing where I have to do it like this. Otherwise, it's not gonna register as if it's actually off. But yeah, that's a really nice fucking vinyl and I'll look forward to owning that one for the rest of eternity. And yeah, I mean, 
I'm glad I got it home safely, and I mean, there's no really, well, there's a little, it's a little tiny dent in the bottom here from the shipping. Uh, something here. This could just be print imperfections, though. I know that happens. I know there's the possibility of your print having some imperfections from factory, so... I mean, the edges are basically new conditions still. I'm just saying, there's always imperfections from factory, these kind of things. There we go. And that concludes Morgan Angel. And honestly, I might even get a plastic. I know this is GC. I know it's fucking, you know, like, oh, you're such a fucking, what, are you scared, you know? But I might have to get a plastic fucking vinyl holder for Monsieur. Oh, there, that's a chill in the boat of DVD that's in the way. Because it's just so iconic and I don't want it to break. And now, pretty much for the rest of eternity, the first thing I will see in my vinyl collection is that. Morbid fucking angel. And I'm gonna go take some pictures for my Discord server and some other guys. Uh, now, which means getting this out again. <laughs> hey, that I hate too. When they fall down like that, that 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 really tickles my bone in the wrong way. But yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures of that. Probably on my black chair, so it looks more sleek, like this, more professional, you know. Because you have the, you know. Let's go. Oh, you're watching Sue Salgarin. Wait, I have been Suicide Grind, and you've been watching me experiencing the Morbid Angel vinyl, and you know the motto, stay cute.